Invincible by name, invincible by nature. At the age of 22, Invincible Spirit is still one of Europe's leading sires and this past season he has further added to his credentials as one of the best stallions we have ever seen. Synonymous with his home, the Irish National Stud, he has been forever immortalised there and business intern Rob Shackerford tells us about why he's such a great sire. When he was in training with John Dunlop, you know, he only ran, only ran a couple of times as a two-year-old um, and then he got a slight injury as a three-year-old which sort of set him back but it was probably a, a blessing for him, you know, he was able to sort of develop that bit more physically um, and then like I said, he, he just got better and better, he sort of rose through the ranks and um, culminating in that in the Group 1, um, the Haydock Sprint Cup, which is a real stallion-making race and a proper Group 1 sprinter that proved that he was. I was actually at Newmarket, it was one of the first race meetings I ever went to as, um, when I was growing up, was watching Fleeting Spirit win the, win the July Cup uh, and obviously just watching his stallion career sort of thrive over the years, you know, and um, he's still breaking records even now, you know, Magna Grecia winning the 2000 Guineas was his first British Classic winner, um, so even at 22 he's still achieving, you know, breaking new ground. And he's achieved a lot in that time, you know, 123 group, group winners and stakes winners. You know, he had a, an unbelievable year last year. He had 19 stakes winners, three group one winners. Obviously, Magna Grecia won a group one last year and has obviously trained on. Uh, Royal Meeting won a group one in France. Um, and then, of course, he had Exodar that won at Royal Ascot. So, you know, he's, he's ticking all the boxes still and, you know, he, he's unbelievable for, for a farm like us. And I think it's well documented that when he sort of first came to stud, you know, he was a 10,000 euro horse um, and he's just, he's done all the hard work himself. Um, you know, he just put so much quality into his stock and, you know, they're sales horses, they're race horses and, and now they're stallions as well. You know, you, you look at horses like Kingman and you've got Charm Spirit there as well and you've got more exciting horses to come through as well, like Shalar and Territories. And um, we're lucky here, we stand National Defence, who's the champion two-year-old by Invincible Spirit. And, we have his first foals on the ground and they're, they're absolutely unbelievable as well. We're delighted with them. So, um, you know, he was an unbelievable racehorse. He's a great sire and now he's, he's turning into a great sire sire. So he really is leaving his legacy on the industry. He looks in great shape. The guys here have been here for a long time and know exactly what he likes and doesn't like. You know, he's, he has his breakfast in the morning, does a bit of work if he needs to and goes straight out to the paddock. So um, mentally, he's brilliant. His fertility is still absolutely phenomenal. And he's sort of limited to 120 mares each year just to sort of uh, keep a cap on him but if he had any choice you know he, he'd still be in the 200s you know he he's well able to work and he's still as enthusiastic for the game as ever so it's, it's great to see and um, he still looks in fantastic shape so it's a credit to everyone here that has um, anything to do with him. Every tour that goes around the place you know Invincible Spirits that is the subject and of course uh, you can see behind me now we have the limestone statue um, sort of made by Simon Carmel it started out as a 19 tonne slab of limestone and He's managed to carve out a, uh, a statue of Invincible Spirit, which you know is a real tourist attraction, and he certainly won't be forgotten around the place. And um, you know, it's a great story to tell, and um, it's great for everyone to see. And I think you'll agree, it looks magnificent behind me. So that's his legacy forever here now. <laughs>